In this video, I'm going to be going over some tips and tricks that I have picked up while playing Arklees Legends Unsolved. Hopefully you come out of this and have learned something new. To start things off, I will go over point allocation. In the skill section, we have nodes in a star-like shape and each of those nodes had three smaller ones to complete it. When I first started playing the game, I was dumping all my points into one node and filling it out completely before moving on to the next. While it may be good to try to get the max amount of health and stamina at the beginning of the game, you do not want to do this as it limits what perks you can go towards early on, which are the circular nodes and some of the perks are really really useful. Some that I can recommend going towards is Big Gulp, which lets you drink potions more quickly as the default is kind of on the slow side and can leave you open to being attacked multiple times before the animation completes, leaving you to having to drink another one. And also Hero Ethos which gives you more XP from defeated enemies, meaning more levels early on. I have two farm guides out on the channel at the moment, if you want to check those out to get some levels early on in the game. Then the last one I can recommend is the Charge Heavy Attack, which can also break through enemies using a shield and blocking against you, as there is a lot of enemies in the game that use a shield. Next, I will go over some combat tips. First one is a personal preference. But go into the settings menu, go into gameplay and turn off auto target lock. What this does is the game will automatically lock onto the first enemy that you hit. I prefer to have this turned off as I do not believe there is a need to lock on in this game. You can quite easily guide any attacks in the desired direction that you want. It just makes the combat feel more fluid and freeing if that makes sense. But on to the first combat tip, which is running light attacks. The best weapons to use with this are one-handing swords or axes, dual-wielding spears and the greatsword. This is the best way to get burst damage in, rather than doing normal attack strings. You can running light, dodge out, wait for your stamina to recover, then running light again. This tip is especially helpful when playing at the newly added Arcalese Must Die difficulty, where the damage dealt by enemies is much greater than to that of the other difficulty options. Another is running heavy, specifically with dual wielding. In my opinion it has the best running heavy in the game. It has a rising sweep like strike where it can hit multiple enemies and also throws enemies of similar size to Achilles onto the ground, giving you time to either pop a heal, get stamina back etc. However, it does not work on bosses, but can act as a stun to them and can actually interrupt some bosses from doing an unblockable attack. Lastly is dodging. You can dodge through pretty much anything, even unblockable attacks. The amount of iframes you get while dodging is kind of nutty to be honest. If you are facing a group of enemies, the best strategy is to dodge away from them but if it is a one on one, the best way to go about it is to dodge into them, ending up behind them, and papping them from the back. The last tip I have for now is for throwable items. You can actually hold down the button which brings up a projectile line letting you know what direction it is going to go in. This tip is really helpful especially for the puzzle where you have to hit three tablets in order to unlock a chest. So it just makes it easier to hit the tablets that are above you or out of reach. This is all the tips that I have for now. Hopefully you found any of these tips to be helpful. But until the next video.